7 o'clock on the dot. Thanks, Ria. As the Canada Revenue Agency says the social insurance numbers of 900 Canadians have been stolen from its website. The agency says it happened during a six hour period when the site was destabilized by the heart bleed bug. Those affected will get a registered letter to inform them of the breach. A dedicated 1 800 number has been set up to provide further information. And meanwhile, if you tend to leave things to the last minute, you may not be too upset with the security scare at the Canada Revenue Agency. It has led to a new tax filing deadline. The CRA's website is now back online after the agency tightened security measures due to the heartbleed bug. Federal government says online financial services are now secure after shutting down public access to some sites last week. Because the CRA's site was down for five days, the deadline for tax returns has been extended to May the 5th. Arson is suspected in an overnight fire that has damaged North Delta's Heath Traditional Elementary School. Flames were spotted at the school at 113th Street and 72nd Avenue at about 2.30 this morning. The school will be closed until further notice. Arson investigators will be on scene today. And speaking of ICBC, you heard it in the headlines. The public image could be at an all-time low this morning. The insurance corporation is vowing to make amends for overcharging drivers. For more on this story, we're joined by Greg Harper, who's standing by live in Coquitlam. Greg. Good morning, Jody. This is a pretty big mistake and a costly one as well. ICBC says it incorrectly charged $36 million on optional insurance, and this has taken place over the last six years. The mistake happened when incorrect vehicle descriptions were entered. The mistake has affected about 40,000 customers a year at an average cost of $21. If you were one of those people, you should be getting a check in the mail sometime in July. Obviously, I'm um, not happy about the situation that we have here. But the most important thing about that is how organisations react when they find they've got an issue. And I think ICBC has taken a very responsible attitude here in saying this is an issue, we're going to fix it and we're going to fix it just as fast as we can. Because of this vehicle inputting error, there are also some ICBC customers that saved money because of it. An estimated 58,000 drivers have paid less because of this, uh, this, uh, this error, and it's around $71 million. It's estimated that this has cost ICBC. The insurance corporation says it will be eating that cost. Jody? All right, fascinating stuff. Thank you very much. Greg Harper reporting live for us this morning. Sentencing is expected today for four Stanley Cup rioters who beat up a good Samaritan. The four were charged with assault and taking part in a riot. Robert McKay, who came to be well known as the good Samaritan, tried to stop looters from breaking into the bay. The 39-year-old chef was punched, kicked and thrown to the ground. More trouble in eastern Ukraine this morning where pro-Russian separatists have seized a police building in another city near the Russian border. The separatists are defying Ukraine government warnings that it will act against the insurgents today. Dozens of angry men hurled rocks, smashed windows and broke into a police station in this eastern city. Meanwhile, reports say an anti-terrorist operation is underway in Dunst region. A U.S. Navy underwater drone will scour the floor of the Indian Ocean today for the missing Malaysia Airlines plane. It's the start of a new phase of the operation after nearly six weeks of searching. The chief of the search operation says the new stage begins as there is little chance of finding floating debris. It's believed the batteries in the flight's black box recorders have probably died by now. The drone is a sophisticated underwater vehicle known as Bluefin 21. It will search the ocean floor four and a half kilometers beneath the surface. Searchers are confident they know the approximate position of the wreckage of the plane.